So ladies and gentlemen, in last eight years, I have not made one video twice on the same topic. <laughs> but I had to do this today because tomorrow Saturn, as you know, will go direct. So currently Saturn is stationary. I already spoke on this stationary transit of Saturn around from 11th to 20th of November. You can see the video in my channel if you haven't yet watched. But I had to make this again. Why? Because since 11th, it's been a crazy ride. <laughs> so many people have messaged me, so what's going on? Why am I forced to make this decision now? It's like, it's like a do or die situation where you continue doing something or you, you leave it. So either you accept it and stop complaining or you, or you leave it. That's it. There's no midway. Now, why is this happening? You have to understand. Because if you don't understand this, then you will feel, oh, this is a bad period, you know, this is difficult, blah, blah, blah. All the, all the negative uh, energies will try to overpower you okay, because of your own uh, behavior and your own consciousness. So, therefore, that's exactly what we are going to discuss today. And if you are in this situation, what you should do, that is most important. All right. So, if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget with the thumbs up if you like this video and for personalized horoscope readings regarding your career, relationships, love life, health, spirituality, you can follow my website down below www.exoticastrology.in and on 21st December, I have the webinar on massive wealth. You can go to my community page. The first post is about that webinar. You will see what is there and how you can attend it all right so please visit the community page now what is going on with saturn saturn as you know is as of today 14 november as i'm making this video is stationary what does a stationary planet mean stationary planet means now the planet is not moving either ahead nor is the planet moving backwards but this is not that the planet is literally stationary it is from in respect to the position of the earth okay where we are situated from that position respectively it is as if the planet is not moving it's like the planet is halting okay but what does that mean in our life it simply means see when when uh, you make a decision and you move ahead in life right then at times you get this feeling that you know should i continue doing that or should i maybe move back so when that feeling keeps increasing, 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 and there's a point where you feel, no, maybe it's not my cup of tea or maybe I have rushed into it. Okay, so if you belong to that category, then what happens is there's a moment where you are left with only two choices. Either I move ahead with this or I return to where I began from. So if you are feeling such a situation has come in your life, then you are not alone because it is very possible that as per your ascendant, wherever Capricorn and Aquarius is falling, depending on your Lagna chart, those two areas of life is undergoing such a situation. It is very, very, very likely that you are facing a similar situation in related to those two areas or at least one of them. Okay. So, for example, if Saturn is your 10th Lord, then it might happen that, you know, you are facing a situation related to a, uh, your profession where you are continuing your current job and maybe you... Uh, have got a new job and you are wondering what you should do and what you should not do okay should you take the new opportunity or should you stay at your current role or if you know you are Leo or Cancer Lagna then Saturn is your seventh lord right so something related to marriage you are uh, kind of you know what's going on should I go ahead should I not go ahead all this uh, a similar situation you are facing or let's assume you are Cancer or Leo you know, and you are already married even then you are facing this situation where it's like, you know, what's going on? Should I stay in this marriage or should I not stay in this marriage? Okay. So therefore, either ways, depending on your ascendant, you might be feeling that now you have to leave everything behind. All that you did is gone in the last 30 years. Yes, in the last four days, I have had conversations with people who have told me that if they make a decision now, it will be like whatever they did in the last 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years, or even more than 30 years, it's all gone. It's a new start again. 
so they are worried they are concerned they are uh, they are horrified to like it's not easy right to whitewash 30 40 years of your life and there are some people who are saying like you know oh yeah you know in the last 6 months whatever i did you know it's all gone pani phir gaya sab mein gaya nahi jayega it's like everything will be gone it's not yet gone but if i make this decision so you need to understand that see saturn the saturn goes retrograde you know most of the like you know 5 months 4 5 months around of the year saturn is retrograde every year but this retrograde is very special because this is the last retrograde uh, motion in aquarius and as you know saturn comes back to one sign you know again after 27 28 29 30 years so almost three decades right two and a half to three decades so that means that is why you might be feeling that yes the work that i did in the last 10 20 30 years is now gone okay and aquarius as you know is the house uh, is the sign which deals with long term goals in life so it's not a petty situation where you know you have something like oh should i buy this phone or that phone should i buy an iphone or an android it's not that kind of a situation it's like a, a life changing or or other sometimes life threatening situation you know, where you are forced to make you know like uh, big decisions okay and when you are forced to do it, then what happens is you feel that, oh, yeah, you know, now I should be like, you know, now, now I really have to have a reality check on myself. So to those people who are feeling that, you know, it is like, you know, a life threatening situation, you know, it's very daunting, blah, blah, blah. To them, I will just ask a simple question. Ladies and gentlemen, you have, you claim that... <laughs> If I leave this, then your last 10, 20, 30 years is gone. But suppose you don't, if you don't leave this, then imagine you are still around in this earth when the next time Saturn enters Aquarius after 28 years. Imagine at that time, I don't know, maybe you are young, you are old, you are in your maybe last days or you are still young, okay? Or you are in your midlife crisis <laughs> after 30 years, whichever age bracket you are, ask this question to yourself. How you feel if you if 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 you get this gut feeling that tells you, Oh, I wish I had made that decision. Oh, I wish I had not made that decision. I wish I had not hurried. How will you feel? So now if you claim that 30 years are gone. So at that time, if you don't move ahead, you will feel, oh, 60 years are gone. So will you be happy at that time? Ask yourself. If you if you think you'll be happy, then yes, go ahead and go ahead and do that. But if not, then uh, you will have to make that decision. So therefore, whenever you feel, uh, this is like, you know, there's a thing, one of my friends was telling me, this is like, there's a thing called sunk cost trap. Where it's like, you know, you have invested money somewhere and that uh, thing is going down. Maybe it's a stock or a property or something. Like that. But because you invested money, uh, you you are reluctant to go out of it. Now you're like, oh, already I have invested so much. It's like, you know, already I have invested 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. But if you don't make the decision, it will be a regret of lifetime. So therefore... Today is the day, today and tomorrow and day after, 14, 15, 16, these are the three three days where you have to make decisions. If you do not make the decision on these three days, you will suffer and I don't want that you suffer. So therefore, please, 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 if you, if you see that life is demanding a different version from you, do not stay where you are. If you are doing something unnatural which you do not believe in. Do not do that. Do not say yes. <laughs> if something is forced upon you, I don't know, whatever it is, you know, family tradition, religion, spirituality, friends, this, that, blah, blah, blah. But if you don't believe in it, do not move ahead with that. Especially if it has to do with, you know, career or marriage. Do not move ahead. Because <clears throat> what can happen is later on you may feel, oh, it was a decision which I took hastily. 
and there is no coming back from this situation. If you miss these three days, there is no coming back. Take it in writing. If you do not act now in these three days, you will not be able to act. Even if you act, it will be like you will pay a very, 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 very heavy price. Okay. So therefore, if you feel that now I am forced to make a decision, then please sit down and just do this one thing. Be brutally honest with yourself, you know, not for the sake of God. Generally, people say, no, for God's sake, be honest with yourself, right? No, I'm not saying, no. Forget God here. Just think of yourself. For your own sake, ask yourself, am I okay with this? Am I okay with what is happening in my life? Do I believe in it? Should I go ahead? Am I ready to take the responsibility? If not, then please, please, you better stay unmarried. You better stay jobless. You stay bankrupt. But don't enter that territory. I've got so many messages from people who have told me that it is a critical situation and they are forced to do something which they don't believe in. So please do not do that. For the last time in 30 years, Saturn is giving you a chance to stand up on your feet. Capricorn represents, you know, the knees, right? What do they say in Hindi? It's like, you know, standing on your own knees, right? So now is the time you have to stand and you have to tell, no, this is not me and this will not be me. This cannot be me and this should not be me. So if somebody is trying to, you know, play games and uh, do some nonsense with you, now is the time that you play the game back. Otherwise, it's gone. It's like a point of no return. And the last thing I will say, this is maybe the most interesting thing. <laughs> the moment you say, I want to wait, you will see the colors coming out. You will know exactly that this was not meant for you. Exactly. The moment you say that I think we are rushing into this or I think I am rushing into this, that's it. The other side will say, no, okay, nothing doing with you. <laughs> or you will see their behavior is changing. Okay. So therefore, what, what was that proverb? Sabar ka fal mitha hota hai. So, be patient and don't make abrupt decisions. But if life is requiring you to make a firm decision, please make it. And it's very simple. Anything you feel unnatural, anything that you are not happy about is something which is forced upon you. Now, of course, karma is brutal, right? That that means, you know, you might be forced into doing situations which you don't like, but try your best, try your best, try your best to, to be in the right disposition. And even if you have to accept it, then don't complain for it. Don't complain after you have made the decision. But as I said, if you feel that you can resist it, if you feel you can uh, you don't identify with, then don't go ahead. All right. That will be all from my side, ladies and gentlemen. I hope this video helped you and you make the right decision. And remember that every life, every version of life will demand a different version from you. All right. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. Thank you so much. Jai Siaram. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. And for consultations, my website is down below. And Massive Wealth Webinar, 21st December. Don't forget by community page. All right. Please take care.